This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutation, viewers. A new game has come in, and this time it's The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. This version I'm playing as is the uh, Xbox version, although this version can pertain to any version you pick up, whether it be on, like, uh, Steam or, well, basically any uh, version you buy on the line, uh, at least a special edition version, any console version, multiple versions, they're all pretty much the same. This is a remake of a old classic back in my, uh, back in the good old days of LucasArts gaming, Point and Click Adventure. Now I understand Point and Click Adventure is not everyone's cup of tea. I can understand that. Uh, it's definitely not got the action that a lot of games do, and uh, you know when you think about it, it is a streamlined experience. Very very little variation to it uh, depending on how you play it but uh, I don't know I grew up on these games and I I enjoy it it had some thought-provoking puzzles and great humor and you know I, I guess nostalgia does hit you quite a bit but I think this is still a classic despite uh, its age and that's why I mean it sold okay you know when, it, when they re-released it at least for fans of the series I mean yeah based off nostalgia but uh, well let's uh Perhaps we should play the game. Uh, just make sure I've got a... Uh, now we don't need to look at the credits. Uh, controls are pretty straightforward. Yeah, leave the subtitles on so we can all hear it. Let's see, I just have to remember. Because in this version, the special edition is interesting because it's basically the same game twice, except I believe they just added voice dialogue for everything in it that wasn't in the original game. Because the original game was in, like, DOS box, I believe, or something like that. It was all, you know, text. So... Um, in this version, they've updated with the, I think the same voice actors when they started adding them since the third game came back to voice a lot of their characters since, uh, since then, which was a nice touch. So anyway, we can, uh, one of the benefits of this version is we'll do it when we actually play the game is you can actually switch between old and new modes. Classic mode is basically the mode that originally came out in and special mode is the re-updated ver uh, looking version of it. Uh, depending on what I'm feeling, I'll swip, switch between switch between back and forth between it uh, let me see bring up actions i don't think that i mean this one is a very very difficult to figure out i just had to uh, remind myself real quick okay and it's been streamlined for those who uh unlike old the old game where you had to you know use the cursors on your keyboard so i mean technically you can still do that but this one's been streamlined for mouse use basically or controller use so Let's play The Secret of Monkey Island and show you what uh, what led me to love the Point and Click Adventure series so long ago. This wasn't the first game I played in the Point and Click series. I started with King's Quest, but to each his own. You know, you had your King's Quest, Quest for Glory, Monkey Island, Maniac Mansion. I could name, like, all the Point and Click Adventure games. But uh, let's play this one because I want something different to play for a bit and something that would, well, you know, may bring up my puzzle solving skills without stressing me out too much, so... Let's play The Secret of Monkey Island and start this adventure. One started back from the 90s. Deep in the Caribbean, the island of Melee. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition, created and designed by Ron Gilbert. Ah, Ron Gilbert, he's created some of my favorite games. Also written by Dave Grossman and Tim Schafer. Ah, oh, Tim Schafer, I love the man. Steve Purcell, who's a, who's of, uh, um, uh, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Sam and Max fame, yeah. I have to play that one of these days. That's a pretty good series of games, too, any of the Sam and Max games, really. Um... Yeah, this is what the... Yeah, it showed you at the beginning what the classic look looked like and then showed you what the new look looked like, so... Uh, we'll, they'll, they'll start the game here in a second. That's just showing all the little credits, you know, all the people who worked on it. Gotta appreciate that. 
That's why I always leave the credits in at the end of my at the end of my uh, runs of videos. I could easily cut them out, but I'm like, well, you know, I mean, yeah, you can play the game, and yeah, most people probably don't even watch the credits, but uh, I leave them in because you know, gotta give those people their their due. Sure, it does make the movie or game longer when you have to add those in, but uh, you know, people need to be uh, people need to be you know rewarded for their work. You know, it's like when people make TV series, you never hear about like the people who work on the sets or stuff like that which image Shh, movie time my name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate yikes don't sneak up on me like that um I'm over this way ah well then thriftweed threepwood Guybrush threepwood I see so you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Ah, all the exposition um, we need. Where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. Part 1. The Three Trials. Ah, yes. All the exposition we need at the very beginning of the game. We are Guybrush Threepwood. We want to be a mighty pirate. But first, we gotta... You know, become a mighty pirate. So, we gotta talk to the three pirate lords, or kings, or whatever they are, and see if they can tell us what we need to do. Alright. Well, let's see. Let's figure out the controls here. Right brings up our inventory screen, I believe, and left gives us our... Ooh. The old-fashioned, um... Do, do things to other things. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Was it the scum system in the old LucasArts games? I think it was called. That's why the bar in the game is called the scum bar. It's a reference to the system, where you can look at things and all that but uh in this game the basically for the most part most stuff will be auto highlighted for you um for the most part uh so if, if you can't if it doesn't say anything on the bottom there like you know it says on the a thing it says a or b there basically the game's kind of auto doing that for you for the most part um so you don't have to technically use this screen at all really for the most part so, I mean, the old game you'd have to, and you'd get different responses, but the bad thing about the streamlined version of this game is that um, you kind of don't get a lot of the... Not that there was a unique dialogue for everything, but, you know, you could... You had a lot more options how to do it, so that's the bad thing about that. But, uh, you know, not everyone's into trying everything out on everything. They just want to get through the experience, and I can understand that. But anyway, one of the main features of the game I talked about before is if you press the button, you can go into classic mode. So if you ever want to just... You know, look at stuff or highlight stuff. There you go. Just press that and just whatever. Obviously, it won't do anything because there's nothing to actually do. But, you know, I'm going to play in the special mode for the most part because, you know, just to appeal to those watching. But just to kind of, if you want to go old school, there you go. But we'll play like that. So, anyway, let's look at this poster. That looks interesting. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Well, yeah, that's the same thing I said about other bad people in the world. But we don't know anything about Marley. She could be a good governor for all we know. I assume she's good. That looked like a female on the first turn. Anyway, let's go back up to the dude. See what uh, see if we, if we can talk to him about anything else. Can we actually leave the island? Look at the path. Oh, we can leave. We don't want to do that. Uh, back up. We're not quite ready to explore the island yet. we got to have a reason to do that. Like old uh, point-and-click adventure games, you have to have reason to do things. You can't... Well, I mean, there's some things you can pick up and do, but uh, let's uh, talk to that dude again. Let's see if he has any more info. Do you Do you ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Do you novel? ever wonder if we're all just characters in a novel? Yikes! Oh, you almost scared me to death! I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Uh, what did you say your name was again? <laughs> Call, Call me, me Squeaky. Squeaky. 
Okay, Squinky. That's going to have a... Uh, that's going to bite me in the butt later. Uh, I'm over this way. Uh, I'm over this way? Huh? Oh. Who are, are you? you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. Am I unexpected? So Marley is a, is a female governor. Good. Not that that matters, just we have a point. And we're on a melee island, although the game already told us that. Uh, how did you get to be lookout when you're obviously blind as a how bat? How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Oh, he sounds lovely, Shinetop. I wonder if he's bald. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors, by the way? Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. A ghost pirate, huh? Or is he a pirate ghost? So was he a pirate before he became a ghost, or was he a ghost... Uh, so, was he a pirate before he became a ghost, or was he a ghost and then became a pirate? Questions, questions. Well, I'll just be off, I'll to, be off seek to seek my, my fortune fortunes. now. Good luck. I wonder if he's going to keep calling me Squinky for the rest of that Listen, time. Listen, I'm sort of busy right now. I'll talk to you later. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, unfortunately, certain people just have so much dialogue. So let's uh, get back to it. Oh, actually, would it let, let me, uh, hold on. Let me uh, go back up there for a second. I just want to check something really quick. Well, let me look at the dude and have a description of him. I'm not sure, but I think he may be asleep. Okay. Because it would let me have looked at him before. No. Okay, so there might be some reason to... Uh... Can we push the dude? I can't move it. Eh. Nah. Okay, so there might be some I dialogue you can get out of it. Not all of it funny. So, okay. Well, let's get back to it. All right, we need to talk to those three major pirate captains to find out how to be a pirate. Why do we want to be a pirate? Doesn't matter. The point is we want to be a pirate. Da, 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 da. Actually, can we, uh... Can we take that poster? I wonder. Er, no, we don't want to use it. Nope, hold on. Can we take it? I mean, I don't think we need it, but why up. not? Nuts. Um, uh, obviously can't took it. Talk to it, could we? Nope, it's not quite. It's a. Can we pull it? I can't move it. No. Oh well. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. I've already dicked around too much already as it is. Guyver Sweepwood needs to be a pirate. A mighty pirate? Who knows? Ooh, the scum bar. I assume we can't look at it and get a description. I don't see anything special about it. Uh, way to go about that, my friend. Well, let's get our reasoning for playing the game. We gotta open it. And walk through. Ooh, hello. Oh, lovely, uh, what is it, a, uh, a, di a den of thievery, a villainy and thievery? Let's see what the old... So we got the uh, old version of it. New. Old. New. Old. New. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, Get to it. All right, let's look around. The pirates? I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. I think Graham said it said something similar in his games. Ahoy there, Ooh, ah. stranger! New in town? You're ugly. Whoa! I mean, uh, uh hey, sir. Uh, uh, how's it going? Uh, my name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new. My in town. name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guy brush three pod? <laughs> hey, That's it's a it's a name that goes name back I for a heard. millennia. What do you call yourself then? Well, what is your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> I don't really know. I really don't know. Well, it sure wasn't for the sunshine. I think you need some guidance. 
You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. You're pretty nice for a pirate. I'm kind of surprised. Are you like a Johnny Depp type of pirate? Like a Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh yeah, I guess I could say this is an homage to the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie that just came out. Which I watched it. I liked it. I don't know. I call it my favorite, but I enjoyed my experience with it. Anyway, where can I find the governor? Where can I find the governor? I don't want to find the governor again. Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Is why not? <laughs> I'm welcome everywhere I go. Uh, wh why, why not? not? Well, the last time she had a pirate over for dinner, he fell in love with her. It's made things rather uncomfortable for everybody. One guy has to do it and ruin it for everyone else. How's, How's that? that? Well, there's a whole big story about what happened next. But I Ooh, don't tell me. Word of it. Uh oh. Esteban over there at the other table might tell you about it. He takes the whole thing seriously. Very seriously. Uh oh, Ooh. looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. TM. I'm surprised they didn't have the voice actors say TM after every one of those just to be funny. But anyway. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, trademark. I think they did that to, as a joke in the game, I think. But, uh, you know. They're busy listening to the guy on the left. Hmm. Well, then. Let's look at other pirates. Hello. What are you Whoa. looking at me for? Uh, it's your... Your don't say I, don't say I, don't say I. It's your I. Damn it! I wonder what the regular. Ooh. Hmm. I should have done that with the other dude. I'm I'm trying to do that with other people, so that's actually kind of neat looking. I kind of like the old look better. I think that's because it's more realistic. But this game is kind of goofy, so the c cartoony look makes probably makes more sense. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah. So what? Uh, uh, who's this pirate that's bugging the governor? Who's this pirate that's bugging the governor? Lechuk. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell Talk for about her the guy in who... a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then. Things really got ugly. Wow, talk about obsessive. So what's this? Uh, how did things get ugly? Or actually, how did he how die? Did he, die? <laughs> he tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island, but a mysterious TM. storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate. Chuck, we were wrong. Ooh, scary. So what is the secret of Monkey Island? What is TM? the secret of Monkey Island? TM. Only LeChuck knows. He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship TM. is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Oh, that's why there's no pirating all over the place. Seems like you guys aren't to. Uh... I gotta ask, what happened to your what eye? What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Oh man, I'm never gonna know, am I? I'm gonna get, a drink. get a drink. I'm thirsty. A drink? Milk, please. You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Uh, Just got a game to play. Sneak into the kitchen. That oh. is what we all do. Well, I want to be a pirate, so it makes sense. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Excuse board. me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't yeah. have one anymore. What? There was a whole. Let's have a bar. Is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Darts don't mix. 
Look, kind of like uh, drinking a gun. This whole leg chop thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind. Oh. All right. I'll see you later. Yeah, oh, that's probably connected to there. Got a lovely lady right there. Oh, and the guy having fun up there. Isn't he having fun? Ooh, he oh, here's a shot. All right, anyone else here? Oh, that might be it. It must be Esteban or something. Let's go get him. Hi. Whoa. Oh, you're not as bad. Bloom. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of a fan of the old look, you know. Not that I don't like the new look. I'm just, you know, I like the old look better. Anyway, ask me about Loom, huh? Nice hat, Cobb. Nice hat. Hi. Hi, yourself. Hi. Yourself. Okay, you got me. Ask me about Loom. So, tell me about or, Loom. Or, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells <laughs> beat the rush go out and buy loom today how do i do that holy crap that that sounds like the best game ever jeez what an obvious sales pitch though. jeez what an obvious sales pitch sorry but on some topics i just get carried away huh but yeah loom is is a, another game from lucas art adventure more of your I'd say maybe serious games out of their series. They never did anything more. It was a single one and done. Uh, as far as I know, you can only get it on either abandoned wear or websites that have that bought that do old adventure games. Uh, GOG or Good Old Games is is one that comes to mind because I don't think Steam carries it. So, if you like point and click adventure games and want something that's a bit more serious and different, Loom is actually not bad from what I remember correctly. Although it's been forever since I played that, but. Anyway, enough about promoting all their other products, even though LucasArts really doesn't technically exist anymore. It, I mean, it exists under Disney, but, I mean, it's not really its own entity nice anymore. talking to you. Oh, yeah, yeah sad but true. Oh, only if, Loom, only if we're talking about Loom is it important. There we go. All right, uh, let's see. Huh, there's a dog over there. Let's look at that dog. It looks like a lovely dog. Oh! Oh, that's a big bone. Oh, huh. So they didn't have an old, the old original didn't have that. Um, woof. Woof. You don't say. <laughs> Tia. Did you just talk, dog? Woof, a chuck. No way. He didn't. My god. Oh wow. Who knew that she was into that? Oh, that dog. Uh huh. What a jerk. He did what now? TM. Well. Man. Who knew? Boy, if only you, if only if you rears knew what he actually said. It would just shock you to the bone. Anyway, these are the three, I guess, pirate lords? Or important looking pirates. Yeah, just show you the old and new. Okay. Let's, uh. I mean, technically talking to them will get the same result, but eh. Let's talk to these three, three important looking pirates. <laughs> I mean, to kill you all. I want to be a pirate. I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. I'll get lost, boy. You bother us. Ah, nuts. Oh, there's the cook. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there he goes back. Can I have a drink? Oh, man. All right. What be ye wanting, boy? I mean to kill I you mean all. I to kill you all. I'll get lost, boy. You bother us. Okay, not every not every result's gonna get a comedic reaction. All right, let's Who get the let's get serious in this boy? comedy adventure game. I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? 
Hey, Aren't don't the forget we're on short on help because of this whole like, Chuck thing. So there you go. So no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Oh, that's terrible. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Wow, well, that's actually impressive. All right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. That's the chapter, uh, part one, then. What three trials are those? Sounds ancient and horrible. There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and well, the art sense. of thievery and okay. the quest. The what? Huh. Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right. I was wondering what they were talking about. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. Uh, uh what type of proof and exactly? And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Well, I can do that. Well, then. <laughs> grog, indeed. Well, let's ask about these uh, quests that we must do to become a pirate. Because that's the point we're playing this game, you know. Tell me about the mastering of the sword. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek oh, out and okay. defeat the sword, master. Some oh, that's just easy. Probably direct you. Oh, boy. That's going to be challenging. Oh, you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. Imagine trying to take on the sword master without any training. <laughs> Could get lucky. Or not. Alright, how about our mastery of thievery? Tell me more about mastering the art of I always wanted to thieve. Wanted to procure a small item for us. The idol of oh, many hands. In the governor's mansion. Oh dear. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. Yeah, the tricky that part sounds like trouble. Getting past the dogs outside. Oh no, dogs? They're a particularly vicious breed. They might be oh, able no. to drug them or something. Oh. I hope they aren't dogs that when they bark they... Or, or bees, or when they bark they shoot bees at me. That would be... That'd be annoying. How about treasure Tell hunting? Me Tell me more about, about that. treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you well, must do pirate, is sure. find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. TM. Should oh, just that, huh? Something? That would help. Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> well, some jokes are lost on me, apparently. You're a bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. You're a bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul smelling grog swilling pig. Oh, well, I gotta smell like bacon first, I guess. What's in that grog stuff anyway? anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene. One or more. Propylene oh. glycol. Artificial uh, sweeteners. Sulfuric ah. acid. Rum. Whoa. Acetone. Okay. Red that. dye number two. Scum. Hey, that's in sweet tarts. Axel grease. What? Hold on. Acid. And Calm down. Pepperoni. As you can probably Ooh. imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. Arr. Yeah, especially with the pepperoni. Gross. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we've learned everything we can from these uh, pig, was it grog swilling, pig, pig toting, pig smelling folks. So time to uh, run along now. now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. 
All right. Well, it looks like the mighty Guybrush. Oh, mighty. He hasn't hit mighty status yet. So it looks like Guybrush Threepwood, a man about town who has entered Melee Island, now has a task before him. He wishes to become a mighty pirate. To be, but before that can happen, he must be deemed a pirate by the three important pirates here. He must uh, complete a quest in the Sword, the Art of Thievery, and the Quest or Treasure Hunting. So which one will we tackle next? Will Guybrush Threepwood be able to make it through Melee Island with his clothes and skin intact? Or will he fa fa fall short and be, ho uh, be sort forced to go home and become an insurance salesman? Find out next time in the next episode of The Secret of Monkey Island, TM. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, you mighty pirates. Yar.